Here the twins here helping me and that's what I'm usually doing behind the scenes is sharing this live into my online cooking classes. But I'm all by myself tonight. The kids are all at hockey. So thank you everybody for joining and big shout out to all of my hostesses this week and shout out to all my customers that are watching for our weekly Wednesday cook up. I've got some great stuff to share and what I thought I would do is share some recipes that you guys can make this weekend for our Canadian Thanksgiving. So all of our Canadians are celebrating Thanksgiving and all of my American customers. All right. Oh, I don't think it liked me playing that music. It might be copyright or something. <laughs> all right. So all of my American customers, uh, you guys can maybe make this for your Thanksgiving coming up in November. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a quiche recipe. I've made this one now three times and I've nailed it every time. I love quiche, I just love it. My husband loves it, Patrick loves it. But it's one of those ones I've done so many different recipes and some of them are so finicky and so hard that I've just like bought them. And I don't love doing that because there's so many added preservatives and they're super expensive. But I found a recipe, it's super simple. I think you guys are gonna love it. So we're gonna get started with the veggies that go in it. I'm gonna do a, ch a cheddar broccoli quiche tonight, but you can literally do anything. You could do peppers or onions or mushrooms or bacon and ham. You name it. This would be a great recipe to use up some of that leftover Thanksgiving ham on the weekend. But I'm just, I've got my rectangular steamer full of broccoli. Love Epicure's multi-purpose steamers because they are super, super great for steaming your food really fast. So I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave to get going. I'm gonna put it in for three minutes. And while that's going, we're gonna get started with the crust, okay? So I'm gonna post the recipe after so you guys don't have to write everything down as I go. Um, but for the crust, it's one cup of flour and you probably certainly could use um, gluten-free flour if you need to. Um, you're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. I always use Epicure sea salt. It's about 20 grinds for a half a teaspoon is usually what I find, but I'm going to measure it out using our Epicure four in one spice spoon, tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon, quarter teaspoon. Four measurements in one spoon. All right, quarter teaspoon of sea salt. All right, then we're going to add the oil and the water. This is actually kind of cool. I've never done this before with a recipe, so I thought this was really interesting. You take a quarter cup of water. Love the prep bowls from Epic here because they've got the measurements on them. They do come in our business kit right now. They aren't for sale for individual purchase because did you know there's a global shortage of glass right now? That's right, we are like sourcing the globe for glass um, due to COVID. So the prep bowls are not for individual sale, but they do come in our Epicure business kit. So quarter cup of water, quarter cup of olive oil. And now you're gonna whisk this, whisk away, and whisk it until it gets thick, okay? It's actually really cool how it thickens up like that. Do, 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 do. You guys all having a great Wednesday? So feel free to ask questions, guys. I, unfortunately, I'm turning 40 this month, and so my eyesight has gone down the drain. I can't see your comments, but I will watch them after, and I'll make sure to answer them. So ask away, ask questions, guys. Tell me where you're from, where you're watching from, who's the hostess that invited you? I'd love to know that. There we go, and it makes it like nice and thick. So now you're gonna take that wet mixture, going to mix my flour and salt. I'm going to add the wet mixture. See how it's thick? The oil and the water. I'm going to add that in. If you guys are looking for the best spatula, like I'm talking the best, it's $9. It's the three-in-one spatula from Epic here. Super long handle. It's heavy weighted, so it's got um, it's metal inside covered in silicone really nice pointed tip so it gets every little corner or crevice there so mix this up and this is going to form our crust for our quiche 
like the easiest quiche crust recipe I have ever made. Four simple ingredients, flour, water, oil, salt. And it's so flaky. It's just so amazing. So take that crust. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more flour here to kind of flour my surface. Love Epicure's protein containers. You can use them to put flour and different ingredients in them. Okay, take your crust. Like, look how easy that was to form that crust. Grab a good old rolling pin, pin roll it out. Some, some room here. Who else loves quiche? Tell me in here, who loves it? What do you guys like in your quiche? I said it's a great recipe to make. You can make it up ahead of time um, so that it's ready in the morning. I'm gonna make tonight and I'm gonna actually cook it and have it in the fridge for tomorrow for lunch for me and my husband. He comes home uh, for a nooner every day. <laughs> he does come home at noon for lunch, <laughs> but that's it. That's all that happens, <laughs> I promise. Oh gosh. All right, so pop that in your pie dish. Super easy. And like guys, I'm not a baker. I have maybe made one actual pie in my whole life, but this quiche, I can do this. It kind of makes me feel like a baker because I'm making crust. <laughs> so I just kind of um, pinched the edges. I kind of trimmed off the edges and made up for the spots that have holes. I'm sure I could have rolled it a little bit more nicer, but this is just kind of the way that I, I roll. It's kind of a patchwork job. Just kind of making sure I fill in all the holes. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm excited for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> for the quiche, not because my husband comes home. All right, there's your crust. Now let's do the inside. I'm gonna reuse this bowl here. I'm just gonna take some of the flour out. Okay, so the inside of this quiche recipe is six eggs, any eggs. I use these delicious organic eggs that um, my husband's coworker sells to us. They're all like different colors, different shapes. I love them. Her chickens like run around all over her property. <laughs> Whoop, if you're from Scotland area, Julie's got the best eggs, I can hook you up. All right, six eggs. Make sure you don't get any little shells in there. Oh my gosh, we did it. I didn't get any shells, I love it. Whisk that up. Then you're going to add three quarters of a cup cream, okay? Any cream, half, three quarters. Okay, now I didn't say that this was a low calorie recipe, but it's delicious and it's clean because there's no preservatives, no additives, just real ingredients. And guys, that's what it's all about. All this fake food we're buying at the grocery store full of made up ingredients is not good for us. Just keep it clean. Now for the Epicure. This is where you guys get to use your creative flair because I know you guys have Epicure in your cupboards. You can use any spice blend to flavor your quiche. Um, whatever flavor you think is going to go with the type of quiche you're making. One of my favorite three blends that I find the most versatile with everything I cook is our Extraordinary Trio Collection. It comes with three spices, 2685 Canadian, and it comes with the three onion. It's a blend of three different dehydrated onions. I mean, onion can go in anything, right? So this is a cheddar broccoli. I'm gonna add a little bit. So I'm gonna grab another spoon. I'm gonna add a little bit of the three onion, about a teaspoon. And then the other blends are lemon dilly. The lemon dilly is great on potatoes or tuna sandwiches or steamed veggies or fish. Super, super versatile. I'm gonna skip that today on the omelet, but I am gonna put the CCB, cheese, chives, and bacon. And it is vegan bacon. It is made with a pinto bean. 
All right, so we're gonna add a teaspoon of, of CCB. So it's about two teaspoons of spice. You decide, you could use our spinach mix. You could use any one of the blends. So if you've got any of the Epicure jars, you can make this quiche recipe. Now you could use a little bit of chopped up ham if you've got ham this weekend in here or some bacon, or if you wanna make it extra bacony, you could use the extra or the better than bacon from Epicure. It's a vegan bacon made with a pinto bean. It is great if you don't have bacon on hand. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of this in because we love that bacon flavor. Bacon, cheddar, broccoli, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. Now you're gonna add one cup of shredded cheese. We're doing cheddar, because we're doing a cheddar broccoli. Okay, whisk that all up. There's your egg mixture. Pour it into your quiche. Using that four in one spice spoon again, or that, sorry, the three in one spatula. Get every little bit of that mixture out. And there we go. You've got your quiche recipe all ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes. Depends on how hot your oven is, okay? So I'm gonna get this into the oven. Oh my God, guys, I forgot the broccoli. Why didn't anybody tell me? I probably couldn't see it anyway if you guys commented. This is the real way I cook in my house. I'm always forgetting things and just going with the flow. I'm just gonna dump it in. <laughs> so normally you would mix this into the mixture before you pour it in, but we're just gonna stir it right into the pie shell. I don't see why it would hurt anything. Oh my gosh, doesn't this look good, guys? Now this is real life cooking at its best. All right, looks good to me. That steamer does like the best job to steam your veggies. So quick and simple. That's the rectangular one that I'm featuring here. Okay, so now we're gonna put this in the oven. I think we're ready to rock and roll here. Okay. Watch out, Hanky, don't burn your nose. You guys can see Hanky, that's our dog. Okay, all right, so while that's cooking, um, I will post a picture after. I'm not gonna make you guys wait 25 minutes for that, but when that's done, I will snap a picture and show you how absolutely delicious it looks. And when I bring it out, I will be putting it on our Epicure cooling rack to cool. This is a new product from Epicure. It comes in a set of two. These are a cooling rack, but they're also a crisping rack. Put this on your sheet pan. So we've got, oh, I don't, here's one right here. We've got our quarter sheet pans. You get a set of two sheet pans. You get a set of two of these trays. It lays on top of here. And if you were to put like garlic bread, chicken fingers, french fries, it acts as a crisping tray and crisps it up in the oven. Tonight for dinner, I did french fries with our garlic, um, sweet garlic uh, topper on it. Oh my gosh, they were so good. They were just cut potatoes little bit of olive oil put on this tray and they were crunchy almost like they were deep fried but they weren't and they were super healthy so i can't talk enough about these new cooling racks from epic here they're amazing all right let's switch over to a little something sweet so this is a great recipe you guys can make for thanksgiving i just want to clear the space here a bit so when i think of thanksgiving here in canada one thing that comes to mind is the fall fair. We have fall fairs here and one of my favorite treats, what's your favorite treat at the fall fair? Is it cotton candy? Is it those blooming onions, beaver tails? <laughs> this is a very Canadian episode tonight. Um, I love caramel apples. It's like one of my ultimate favorites. So I'm gonna show you kind of a caramel apple dip that you can make for the holiday season. So all you need is, one half of a cup of cream cheese. So this is Philadelphia cream cheese, one half of a block or half of a cup. Then we're going to do one half a cup of whipping cream. Okay, one half a cup whipping cream. And you could double this and have a bigger recipe. And then we're going to do one half a package Epicure caramel seasoning. This stuff is to die for. 
All right, so one half a pack or about three tablespoons, just dump that in there. Then you're gonna grab your electric beater. Just gonna plug this baby in. And we're gonna beat it. So plug your ears, it's gonna get loud. We're gonna beat it for about two minutes. You gotta see what this looks like when it's done. two minutes it gets really thick but you guys can get the point so now oh my gosh guys this is so delicious this is a caramel dip like a caramel cheesecake dip and you're going to serve this with nice delicious fresh apples they're in season here in southwestern ontario you get these nice crunchy orchard apples so serve this on a plate with some nice crunchy apples or um, so I would cut these delicious apples up and I would serve them on a platter. The kids can dip in and have that caramel cheesecake dip. It's so good. Or another yummy, yummy treat. I got these at Costco on the weekend. Um, are these really yummy like fruit and nut crisps. I'll show you guys the package, but I'm sure you can get multiple versions of these wherever you're from. They kind of look like this. Oh my goodness, guys. Like that. They are so delicious with this caramel apple dip. So you could have a nice platter with some apples and maybe some of these fruit, fruit and nut crisps to go with it, like a sweet cracker crisp. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I hope so. So now I'm gonna have to succumb to not eating this <laughs> and I'm gonna actually freeze it. This freezes excellent and I can pull it out this weekend for Thanksgiving. I've got the quiche in the oven that's gonna be done shortly and that will be lunch tomorrow for my husband and I. Um, and those are two recipes that you guys can enjoy this weekend. All you need from Epic here is a seasoning blend. The ones that I do love, they're very versatile if you're looking to kind of start your pantry. It's the Extraordinary Trio. It comes in a collection. Just type in Trio when you do your online shopping. It comes with cheese, chive, and bacon, three onion, and lemon dilly. If you want that extra bacon punch, the Better Than Bacon is so darn delicious. And for a sweet treat, we featured the caramel. Um, and of course, for cookware tonight, we talked about our rectangular steamer. And... I keep pulling them out. I literally think that I own about like seven of these guys. This is the three in one spatula, the best spatula in the market, $9. It's a $9 Canadian, great little workhorse in your kitchen. Everybody needs one of those. So thanks everyone for joining. Again, big shout out to my hostesses. We've got Teresa and um, we're, oh, I'm just trying to see who's commenting there. Awesome, okay, so my hostesses, we have Teresa and Megan. Thank you for hosting this week and allowing me to share with all your friends and family on your cooking class. And to our new business partners, we've got Chris and we have Amber. Congratulations on joining my team and this week I'm helping them with their business launch. So now it's time to do some Epicure grocery shopping. So big, Thank you for all of you that consider Epicure as part of your weekly grocery budget. You can pop on now to your hostess's shopping link that's located at the top of their group, or you can go to my website if you're not part of one of these events, carriebarfoot.com, or reach out to your consultant. And time to do some shopping. <laughs> now, when you're doing your shopping, if you find your online shopping cart is completely overflowing because you want 
everything, there's a way to actually get your grocery shopping with Epicure at no cost, and that's by hosting. So reach out to me to be one of my upcoming hosts. I will share all kinds of recipes and meal inspiration with your friends. We'll do some fun games so they can win prizes, and you will walk away with your products free. Over the last six months, as I've pivoted my business completely virtual, I have given away thousands, thousands of dollars in free products to my hosts for allowing me to share with their friends virtually. And of course, before we end tonight, I would not be doing my job if I didn't tell you all about the incredible income opportunity we have at Epicure. Our consultants are not just surviving this pandemic, we are thriving. You need to come join this rocket ship. People are home, we are cooking, and we know the importance of health, and Epicure plays a very vital role in that. And we all love Epicure. Everyone loves Epicure, and everyone loves food, right? So come on, join us. It's a really great opportunity for you to bring some financial means into your home by just sharing food. You're cooking anyhow, why not get paid to do it, right? <laughs> So have a wonderful evening, everybody. Thank you all for joining me, and I hope you have a great end of the week. And to all of my Canadian customers, happy Thanksgiving this weekend.